Welcome to the world of the Phantom Traffic Jam. I'm joining Eddie Wilson, a man who spends his working life unpicking the mysteries of motorway traffic. It's five o'clock on a Friday, and we're getting a bird's eye view of one of the biggest regular jams on the entire UK motorway network. Eddie, if um, motorways are like human rivers of some kind, the great thing about this is we can look down on the river. So what kind of things are you looking for here? So what we have here is, is the merge of the M5 and the M6 junction in Birmingham. And uh, we have the M5 traffic coming in from over there from the south. And we have the M6 traffic coming in from the east. And here, there's just too much traffic being pumped into the pipe. And we'd see this kind of traffic pattern here every Friday. Right, too many cars and lorries, not enough tarmac. But what about those strange jams where there's no accident, there's no police, there's no roadworks? It's a mystery. There doesn't necessarily have to be a cause such as an accident. The problem is, is because drivers' behaviour is not perfect, people get too close to the vehicle in front, then they have to correct, they touch the brakes. The guy behind him touches the brakes, slows down a bit more, and maybe if you go 100 vehicles back up the column of traffic, somebody oh, actually comes see. to a stop. So all it takes is one person braking just a little too hard, the next thing you know, a mile or two behind them, the whole motorway has grown to a halt. But that's not the end of it. Using computer modelling, Eddie and his fellow motorway gurus can allow us to see what happens once the motorway lanes have become clogged with stationary traffic. Even though the stopped cars quickly start moving again, the jam itself doesn't vanish. Instead, it takes on a life of its own, a wave of stationary vehicles that travels back down the motorway with no clear cause or reason. And it's that wave you hit when you meet a phantom traffic jam. 